a quick little heads up to you. This is, this gameplay I didn't win. Um, I'm simply just using the gameplay as a background to me talking about Call of Duty. All right, guys, have fun listening. Bye. Hey guys, what is up? It is Chuck, and needless to say, it's been a while. It's been roughly six months. I've been busy. School ended, and I had already had a job when summer started, and I was picking up as I'm still picking up as many hours as I can. Um, I didn't win in this game, as usual. I, I usually don't win whenever I'm not playing with friends. None of my friends are on. It was five in the morning. And this, I had literally lost like 20 games in a row, and I was just, I was done trying. So, I was, I'm going to use this game, and hopefully you guys are happy with it. Um, now that it's been about six months, I am currently 10th prestige. In my last Call of Duty ga video gameplay, pretty sure I hadn't prestiged it, or I was just waiting to prestige. But I in this video as my first video back from, from zero prestige to 10th prestige I wanted to share my experiences of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 um, and ha like the guns, people, um, strategies and stuff like that first off I'm going to talk about the guns of course you know you have your all your assault rifles you know uh, dual FMG9s all of these guns that make the game, the game weapons, like they makes the game known. Because people are like, oh my god, FMG9s, yada 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 yada, yada whatever, whatever. You know, you, you hear the talk about Call of Duty and, and how how much people rant and rave about it. But uh, of course, what I want to talk about weapons, I wanted to talk about um how weapons compare to other weapons in the game. If you're not using one of the, like, the higher ranked weapons in the game, MP7, um, P90, uh, ACR, which I, I did terrible. Like I said, uh, I, I'm, always, <laughs> I'm always doing terrible. But um, any of those weapons, it's going to outrank any other gun in the game automatically the person that's not using that gun there it's over for them they're boned if somebody comes around the corner with dual fmg nines and you're using an ak-47 and your reaction times are better but just because they can like spray ridiculously it's over for you either way it's over you're done um like i like i said these are just all my personal opinions and my own reactions um like later in the game, I pull out the AA-12, and I personally, I personally feel as if that gun, it has that competitive edge. You know, like when you go around a corner and there's someone there just about to spray you with, with a, a MP7, you have that competitive edge to take out that enemy and move on to the next. One. You know, in the in re the reload time isn't really that ridiculous without a sleight of hand. Um, and now moving on to people in the game. Uh, I didn't really interact people with people much in Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops, but I have I have had so much fun interacting with people on Modern Warfare 3 for one reason, one re reason only. They get angry, and they get angry quick. And as me being a younger brother, it it has been my job my whole life. To annoy my siblings. <laughs> That's like the job of the youngest brother of the family. It's just to annoy the shit out of the family. So I took those I took those traits and moved them over to Call of Duty and people hate it when you fuck with them. Honest to God, they hate it. They ra they rave, they they rant, they they yell, they just they just get angry. <laughs> and to me this isn't a very mature environment. Um, people just get pissed off, and I think it's kind of silly. Like, if I if I hear somebody trash talking, I'll be like, "Stop! It's not funny. It's stupid. You sound stupid." Especially in two v two or three v three, 
you can get people really worked up in, in that game mode. People get worked up fast in that game mode. Especially when you just say stupid shit when it, in the kill cams. Like, like if if they're if they're not camping, say they're corner camping, or they're head glitching, or they're using a modded controller, people get so angry when you say that kind of stuff to them. It's not even funny. It's it's pretty ridiculous how angry they get. I just want you to go try it. It's funny. It's awesome. Oh, sometimes people try to do it to you, but you're like, what what are you doing? What are you doing, guy? But, uh, I wanted to, my next thing I wanted to talk about was just my overall experience with Modern Warfare 3. It's a multiplayer, kind of, kind of the game in general. I personally thought the campaign, the campaign was phenomenal. Um, I, I, I couldn't have expected any more from Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer. They made a great story. It was, you know, it kept me wanting to come back and finish the story. And, and just finish the game. And w what to expect from the next Modern Warfare or whatever, you know, whatever they're gonna have next. But, uh. And then the multiplayer, of course, you know, I've stated kind of how I feel about the multiplayer. I have more fun making people angry than I really do <laughs> playing the game, which is a sad, honest truth. But, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. It's it's been Chuck. It's actually it is Chuck. It hasn't been Chuck. It's been Chuck this whole time. <laughs> Peace.